Hey there friends, it is Mr. Herman and I'm back with another Turtle Academy lesson. Remember the first thing we need to do is log in and we always use our Google account and you can tell you're successful because it'll say your login at the top. We need to load our logo file that we've been building. Remember I asked you to do logo with your initials. And then when you click that, you will see all the cool code that you've created from Go all the way through House. If you don't have these completed, use the link that I'm going to provide to go back to the playlist where these logo lessons are started. So we've got a house. Now we need to build the door. A door is kind of like a square. So let's do it up by the square and let's type two door, but we're going to make a rectangle. Since our whole building is 50 high, let's make our door 15 high and then let's do our right 90 and then let's make it 10 wide so right now it would have went up 15 turn right it would have went forward 10 and turned right and now just like when we made the square we're gonna do that two more times let's select the code do control C as in cat which means copy and control V as in victory so that our shape goes all the way around while making the door and then I demand that every piece that we make ends with pen up home and pen down and put an end so if we go back down to the bottom of our code and instead of CS house change it to CS door when we update tell it OK and run it you can see that we've got a groovy little door unfortunately it's so small that it uh, is kind of covered up by the turtle but uh, if we do house and then door update okie doke and run you can see that the door is there but it's in a weird location it's at zero zero let's fix that by going up and in front of the command door let's put a set X command and let's tell it to move 20 to the right now when we do update and run watch this your door is in a beautiful location it's perfect for being used now because the door is fantastic let's delete the code down here let's go up to our house command and let's code the door in so it's actually part of the project and let's also follow my rules where we have the pen up home and pen down at the end of every piece of code we make I'm gonna space this over so that it looks a little bit more like our traditional code and now it's time to build our windows but that's going to be a two-step process because first we're going to make a brand new super cool word called SQ2. SQ2 is amazing because it's going to have a variable L, which will be the length of the sides. After you type L, press enter, and then we're going to use the repeat command, R-E-P-E-A-T, and we're going to repeat four times, and we're going to use a square bracket. The square bracket is above the enter key, and we're going to tell it to go forward colon L so it'll be the variable amount that we type after your forward colon L you need a right 90 and then a brackets and then press enter and then of course we need pen up home pen down and we need end to test our cool project we're going to delete the word house for a moment and I'd like you to do SQ2 and I'd like you to type a number 5 after it click update tell it okay press run <laughs> and you'll notice you can't even see the tiny little SQ2 so let's press enter and do SQ2 10 and SQ2 15 and now when we press update and okay and run now you can start to see the little squares appearing let's clear those little critters out and put our house back in there and then let's build the window we're gonna make a command to win 
T-O-W-I-N. And then I'd like you to type this command, pen up, set X, Y, and I want you to go 10 over, and I want you to go 30 up. I want you to put the pen down, do your SQ2, and add a 10. What this does is it says, hey, quit drawing. Move 10 into the X, which is to the right, and then move 30 up, put the pen down, and draw a square. When we press Enter and type End, and we add win after house, update, tell it OK, and run, and check it out. You've got an amazing house with one window. We're going to add a second window by simply copying that command. Once again, using Control c as in cat, Control v as in paste. Right now, they would land on top of each other. So let's change the second number for our second window. I made mine 25 over 30 up. And now when I update, tell it OK, and run, I've got two windows. My spacing is a little goofy, so I can just change the numbers and try it a different way. Update, OK, run, and you can see it turned out pretty darn sweet. Once again, because the windows are perfect, we can delete the win command here, and we can find the house command, and we can add it in. At this point, hit your last update, run it one last time, and pat yourself on the back for completing several awesome words and making your own cool house. Because we hit update, it has been saved. You can now close the logo, or you can just play with it because you're having fun, and look forward to the next lesson sometime in the next few days. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.